If you've ever dreamt of kicking a guy in the balls so hard that his face turns purple, then this is the game for you. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the Broken Controller Club. My name is Ed and I'm your lovely, cuddly little fuzzball of a host who can also be randomly vicious and go for your jugular. Just like a river otter. If this place were to run on bad jokes, it'd be hella rich, but it runs on subscribers and that means I'm poor as a church mouse, so step on up and hit that subscribe button. I wanted to do a video looking back at God Hand as it really is one of my favorite titles on the PlayStation 2. As I pointed out before, I really like the cult classics that are underrated or got overshadowed by bigger games that released at the same time, especially the ones that just don't take themselves very seriously. So that in mind, God Hand is B-movie quality cheese at its finest that's worth picking up if you got a PS2, or if you still have your PS3, it's available for download there as one of their PS2 classics. It was developed by Clover Studio, which was a developer for Capcom that only did a few titles, Beautiful Joe and its sequel, Okami, and God Hand. Beautiful Joe and Okami alone make for a great track record, but that didn't keep the studio from being shut down in late 2006 or early 2007 after their three leads, Atsushi Inaba, Hideki Kamiya, and Shinji Mikami left the company and started Platinum Games after some growing tensions with Capcom. If you're not familiar with Kamiya or Mikami, you're likely familiar with the games they're responsible for. Resident Evil, Vanquish, and Devil May Cry, to name just a few. So here's a quick summary of the story. In the process of saving this chick Olivia, Gene gets his arm chopped off and Olivia grafts an arm with the power of God onto him. The God Hand course. He's cocky, but he's a good guy, and now he's got the power to fight back demons who are trying to resurrect their boss. That's about all you need to know. The cutscenes are pretty much all told as sight gags, and they're really entertaining, and most of the jokes are lowbrow. Anybody easily offended need not play this game, because it does not hold back. So now that the background's out of the way, let's get to the good stuff. God Hand is a beat-em-up from this weird third-person perspective that mostly reminds me of the latest God of War release. It follows Gene at a fixed angle, which forces the player to utilize the right analog to dodge and L1 to do a 180 degree turn. If it sounds clunky, it's because it is, and really in my opinion, it's the only thing the game really has going against it because the rest of it is freaking awesome. The art style and game world remind me a lot of a mix between Double Dragon and Fist of the North Star with the way the characters are dressed and the lack of any real civilization in it. I'm sure a part of that has to do with the PS2 just not being able to handle a lot on the screen at the same time, but I also think that it's mostly deliberate. The first stage or chapter of the game feels almost like a Wild West setting, and I really dug that. Being that it's a beat-em-up, expect to punch and kick people in the face a lot. Pimp slap them, mule kick them, throw boxes, barrels, knock them into the sky, juggle them, oh, and stomp on them. You'll stomp on everybody. Men, women, gorillas, clowns, your mother, whatever that awful thing is. You'll also pummel people, do some sort of rapid chokehold thing, knee them in the face, give them rapid spankings, if you're into that. You have regular attacks that you can customize in your loadout screen, a set of special moves in your roulette wheel that costs points to use, and of course you can turn on your god hand when the TP bar is filled up and you can whoop the crap out of anybody near you. The special moves range from kicking someone into space, to stomping them into the earth, to throwing projectiles. If you've ever dreamt of kicking a guy in the balls so hard that his face turns purple, then this is the game for you. I myself fantasize about that on an hourly basis, but then if I want to act on it, suddenly people get upset and go, You have problems! Because apparently we live in a world of hippies. The enemies range from your typical punks to crazy leather-clad women with whips, big fat guys and demon bosses themselves. Shoutout goes to the midgets dressed like Power Rangers and have voices like Muppets. They had swarmed me, beaten me down, and made me restart enough times that it made me less confident about whether I could fight an actual gang of midgets in real life. Of course, considering the last fight I was in was in third grade, pretty sure I'll get my ass kicked in by basically anyone anyway. There's actually a lot of meat to this game, because in between stages you'll buy more attacks and special moves at the store from some weird guy in a bunny costume, you can also go into the casino and win more money by playing games like blackjack, video poker, slots, and you can also race chihuahuas. Poison chihuahuas. I'm terrible at betting on races and didn't win a single one, so going to horse or greyhound races in real life is something I'll likely never do. Anyways, you can do some challenges in the fighting arena for cash as well. 
Like I said earlier, the game's hilarious and it was a blast playing through. I'm not very good at the controls and they take getting used to, but if you watch any high level playthroughs on YouTube, the people who have mastered it make it look ridiculously smooth and easy, so it's a fun game to learn and really get into. It's got multiple difficulty levels as well as rewarding you with making enemies more difficult if you fight well, or if you're like me and play like a geriatric, then it'll mostly leave you alone, which is generous. If only real life was like that. So that's all I got for today. God Hand is a great time and it's worth getting if you come across it in your travels. Thanks for watching and until next time. Do you like what you see? Or did you lose a bet and have to subscribe to your most hated channel on YouTube? Do you feel sorry for me? Be sure to ding that sexy subscribe button before changing channels as I have no shame, we'll take whatever I can get. Thanks again for watching.